Yeah, hello everyone. In today's session, we will see about how to create carousel in Bootstrap. Right? This is a special feature. Right? Uh, in in Bootstrap, we can create image slider. We can create the image slider. This this it has some next, and we can go we can go to the previous slide. So right, this is a special feature given by the Bootstrap, so that we can able to display many number of images that is it will automatically slide it will automatically slide one image after another image right so here uh, the basic thing the carousel is a slideshow for cycling through a series of content and this is built with the css 3d and transforms with a by using some javascript right this this particular moving event is uh, is done by using the javascript right uh, we can display some series of images, right? Let us see how to how to design carousel in Bootstrap, right? right? Without wasting much time, let's start the coding part, right? So this is we already know. So this is HTML page, and I defaultly use the CDNs for CSS and for JavaScript. And uh, I already uh, designed a particular card also, right? So and if, you, if you see the output, this is a card. This is a card. I have created a card. I have given some title. I have given some information. I created some button, right? So if you want to detail uh, information about how to create a card, you can see my previous video, right? So for time being, let's start the coding part for how to uh, use, how to design carousel by using Bootstrap. Right, first uh, I will create one container, right? We all know how to create container, div class equal to container, right? Div class equal to container. And after that, uh, I will try to define ID and some carousel slide and data type. That means I'm now I'm going to define how to use carousel in Bootstrap, right? So th th there is already predefined things we are there in Bootstrap. Just we need to use those features, right? I have I have given some ID. I have given some ID and I define the class as carousel slide. And I have given the data right as a carousel, right? And after that, and after that, I am going to define the inner part of the carousel, right? How to define the inner part of the? Very simple. So I can use div tag and class equal to carousel inner. And after that, and this particular things will tell us that I am going to use carousel. The complete setup is completed. Now I I want to tell to the uh, engine what kind of images I need to display that means I'm, I need to I need to define the images but before going to define the images I need to make the carousel item active that means all the items are nothing but the number of images right so I need to defaultly I need to make one item should be active otherwise it will never display the carousel Right, for that I will simply do class equal to carousel item is active. And after that, now I need to define the image tag. Right, mg src equal to. Right, I have given some image name, a row two jpg, and some I have given the class. Right, so that that particular class will give some height and width, all those things. Right. And after that, I need to close the div tag. That means I have complete. I have successfully defined one item. That item holds the some image. And the same way, I need to define one more class. That particular class will hold will hold another item. Use some image name. Right for time waving, uh, and I simply close the deep tag. Right, and finally, I simply close the 
container also. Let's save it and uh, let's let's check the output. Right. So if you see the output, it is showing an image. It is showing the image, and automatically for some time interval, it is moving the slides. But I am not able to see any kind of next icons and previous icons. That means I need to activate those icons, right? So suppose a custom a particular user came and he need to see the image slide image uh, series of slideshow. What are the some of the images are there? He can't able to see because there is no interactive part, right? So now we need to create that particular interactive part. Right, very simple by using this particular code we can able to get the previous icon and next icon right and after that to close the div tag and the carousel and div tag of the container just save it and check the output right you can see here the previous the previous things are there and here this is the next things are there right so like this we can able to create the Carousel, where we can we can we can make the website very effective by showing a lot of images right that's all for now thanks for watching and subscribe to this channel also